Hello, welcome to episode 8. This is Backspacer57 here, and I have some news. Um, yeah, so, um, I'm kind of doing like a little bit of a double hitter right now. I'm streaming on Twitch, and I'm recording for the episode, so I'm going to try and do a little bit more cuts this time. Um, but we'll see. It's kind of been a slow night, and I'm about an hour off for the stream, so... That's my fault. Um, interesting things happen, so you know, cat threw up behind the couch. That's always fun. Um, right. So interesting things happening in the world of Backspacer 57's bed. And now it's not bed anymore. Right. So the single greatest thing occurred. Um, I made a lot of string. And then I took it all down with a crook. And I made some canvas bags. And we're going to see why we made those canvas bags today. Because of really cool things. So, if you look... Oh, there's a creeper. Alright, so I better make this fast. If you look over here, there's a village. And I found this village. There's a windmill, this little M base a cemetery, all this cool stuff around it, plus there's a meteor over there it looks like. Um, I've been scouting around and there's this thing, whatever that is, and I started getting chased by like these evil knights and so I was not doing too good about fighting them, they were throwing fireballs, that's not very fair. And so I was on fire so I ran all the way over here across this river and then I saw the village windmill and I ran over there and now we found a village. So um in my otherwise excursions, I went all the way over here <laughs> looking for the, a village as well. And I didn't find anything. I was just about to give up to if there wasn't anything over here. So um, it's really cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, kind of move home over to the village, which I believe is like not that way. So it would be that way. So, there's a lot of moving to do. I also found a way to get rid of the tall doors, <laughs> my door, um, which is cool. It's awesome. Um, it's called a destruction hammer, which makes total sense when you think about it. Um, but beyond that, um, so we need to kind of clean up a little bit. Um, also, when we were out and about, we found some ender lily seeds. Where are they at? So yes, we're going to have to be using those soon, which is pretty cool. So to move, we have created another mining world dim dimension portal on the other side over there. Um, and that's going to be kind of like our fairy point, where it's going to be like our go-to behind. Um, I think I'm going to move the smeltery with us. Um, there's already a smeltery over there, which is pretty cool. Um, there's currently a villager stuck in it, uh, which isn't too cool, um, but yeah. So, how to make bags and things. So, one of the biggest bags that I like to use is called the um, Bag of Holding. It's introduced by the um, Extra Utilities mod, and it is made kind of like this. So we got four blocks of wool, a block of gold, two in gold ingots, a diamond, and a chest. So these aren't cheap. Uh, the gold alone is going to break the bank for me. Um, but And diamonds aren't, aren't easy to find. However, the bag holding is awesome. So if you have Java installed, um, you can take... You can pick up however many chests you want, and if you put them in this bag of holding, it takes away the slowness effect. Unfortunately, Mod Sauce 2 doesn't have Java, so um, we're not going to be able to use that so much. However, it does have all these other um, bag mods, and we're going to be looking at those. So, we have this compact storage mod, where you make a builder, and the builder... Let's see if I remember how to do it correctly. I believe something like this. I don't even know if we have enough iron. Let's just look it up. Builder. Because I'm pretty sure you need to. 
Yep, builder, right. Yeah, so you need six iron. We didn't have enough iron, but you basically do two levers, any kind, um, because I think there's multiple levers, as long as they're just the Minecraft ones. Um, and then you throw a chest in the middle, and you get the builder. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, that gives us quite a few um, things to work with there. And let's see, what else? All right, so then there's blue power which you see these two canvas bags. Now blue power is pretty cool because um, all we do is we craft a whole bunch of these uh, of this canvas and we're going and then you just kind of loop it around. So let's see here. I have 3 here. I have 28 more that I can make with that so you need eight canvas is the issue and it appears as though we only have seven wow that sucks let's see here um so i need what six more so let's see it's good for us because we're moving So, how much do we get? We got 24. So then we can go around. And we got 10. Alright, so that's probably going to be... Well, that is going to be more than enough. So we got two left over. And now we got three canvas bags. And canvas bags come with um, just a 3x9 slot, which is a little bit smaller than the bag you're holding, which has um, a 6x9. So a lot less items you can hold. Bag of holdings about the size of um, one double chest, and then these backpacks from um, compact storage are created um, by this system here. So what you need is you need um, wool and iron, and so now we have extra string. So wool, iron bars. That's game, I think. If I increase the number of rows, yeah, we need eight, eight, four, and two. Okay, so we'll build the backpack there, and then you'll see that there's, um, so it's four by nine, and then th the first one I created is just a three by three, and they still make the trust on. So these are our primary backpacks. Um, there's basic backpacks from iron backpacks as well which you can then upgrade, just like iron chests. Um, so th that just takes eight leather and around a chest. Unfortunately, we don't have that much leather, um, which is un quite unfortunate. Um, however, over by the village, there's a bunch of cows, and so we're going to create a cow farm, which is awesome. So, yeah, I'm going to cut, and if you're, people are watching the stream, they can stop listening to me yammering, and... Um, yeah, I'm going to kind of get a move on and uh, packing up a whole bunch of this stuff. And then we're going to leave this, m the major parts of this over here. So we're going to leave a bed. Um, we'll leave like the house set up, maybe some seeds and planted as crops. And then, um, but everything else we're going to move over, including, including this guy. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to cut and we'll come back once we're in the village. Alright, and so now we're in the village. As you can see, there's lots of villagers, which all with pretty cool professions and trades, which is awesome. Um, so there's this thing, which kind of spawns, which is pretty cool, actually. Um, so it's kind of dark in here. However, it has a bed. And it has a farmer in there at the moment. That'll give you stuff. And I kind of set up a furnace and the crafting bench and the brew stations are already here. Um, but, yeah, that's kind of like it, to be honest. And um, it was regarding, like, interesting things that are going to be super useful to me. There's a lot of um, solar panels on top of the, at the house. There's also this structure here that, um, it's the Aurora Cascade mod. 
structure that spawned in. It's like surrounded by sandstone. Really cool pumping things in there. Um, here is the um, here's the villager pit of stuff though. Sheesh. You guys are pitiful. How did you guys get stuck in there? Whatever. So yeah, so there's the um, there's a smeltery that we're going to be editing. There's a villager here. So obviously we're going to have to be super careful to um, not let night happen so we can have some villagers to talk about later. Um, there's also a mill house here which is pretty cool. I kind of took apart the mill stone to get some um, stone. However, you can't tell from outside, which is pretty cool. Um, so here's the miller himself. He actually stays pretty close to the miller, to the windmill. Um, there's another miller. Uh, there's a lot of villagers around here, though. This is a pretty robust village um, in terms of villages. Poop. Huh. Oh, that's not good. There's no door there. Well, whatever. There's quite a bit to going on here. Um, there's also this structure here, which currently has no one in it at the moment. Um, let's see. It's just kind of empty. It's got stuff, and that's about it. So, yeah, I'm going to set up um, shop. Uh, I don't know. Let's see, where should I set up shop at? Oh, iron golems are spawning. Very good. I was going to get some of those set up um, to try and protect these guys. ASAP. Um, I guess I don't have to. So I guess we can just set stuff up here. And we can just kind of dump in all the superfluous stuff that we have. It's pretty much superfluous. Um, stuff that I got out of the mining dimension. So we'll need these. So yeah, I got a lot of stuff to move. Um, not entirely too cool, is it? Let's see. Grab, just dump all of that in. You don't have to be dumped in. That probably didn't have to be dumped in, but we'll dump it in anyway. And place that. That. That, that, that. That. Okay. And then, yeah, so we'll just keep moving stuff in, and, yeah, I'll come back soon. And we're back! So, um, yeah, everything's kind of cleared out. There's a cake. Cake for cakes. Um, I got all of this ready, planted to go. Um, I guess we can grab the extra pumpkin. Oh, almost forgot. So we gotta take our Britannia stuff with us. It's a very important thing to do. So um, we're gonna grab this. Oh whoa! Oh my! Oh my! He's got big sword. My stick is bigger and better. Ha ha! Ah, oh, look at that. All right. So my canvas bag is full of stuff and things items. So we have a, the sort of uh, quartz stone that we planted all those episodes ago um, has made some progress, which is always a good thing. I heard sound. Okay. So we went ahead and we grabbed pretty much all of our stuff out of the um, out of the basement. Um, there's a few exceptions. I didn't grab one chest because that one chest had a ton of stone in it and we can set up a cobblestone gen pretty much anywhere and that's pretty unnecessary to carry it with us so we're not going to do that. Um, these pigs we're gonna leave um, here for now the moment being. I think one got out which kind of sucks. 
Um, but yeah, that's not really too much of an issue. That's not a worry. Um, but yeah, so base is pretty much cleaned out. And we even got the back room here. We lit it. And so we're going to have to change the lighting, actually. Not the boots. There we go. Eight. You're seven. So what are you now? You're seven. You're nine. How are you seven? Why are you seven? You're eight, nine. All right, everyone's happy. All right, so there we go. So, um, yeah, and then uh, we just left this guy here with a ton of cobblestone. We're not going to need it. We can just make more of it. So the last thing we're going to do before we go is we're going to cut down some trees. And this has a very specific reason. So um, one of the things we need to do when we get to our new place is make torches. So we're going to make a lot of torches. And um, we're also going to make quite a bit of fencing. And that's going to take a lot of trees. And so we spawned in a seasonal oak forest, I think, or a seasonal forest, which is all fine, but it's kind of dark and drab. I mean, it always looks like fall. And I don't know about you, but fall is the time of the year where it always just feels for foreboding, kind of ominous, like the cold's about to come. And I love winter, but I, it's just like those weird fall days. Are, are still just weird and I just like I love going outside and walking in fall and having all sorts of fun you know apple cider and all that stuff you know typical American dream of eating donuts and drinking apple cider picking some apples and stuff but I don't want to play my game in it because it seems like it sucks yeah I'm gonna say it it it's not it's not the biome for me to make a basin. So that village is in a plains biome, I think. Or some kind of shrubland biome. It's pretty bright. It's pretty open. There's a lot of stuff going on around it. There's a swampland nearby. Um, we're probably going to need even more than this, but, you know, there's limits to how much we can carry or how patient we'll be. So um, it's going to give us more room without having to deal with all of these hills. Uh, it's got some hills of its own. But, um... I think we can make it aesthetically better. And I think we can work with it more. We can just kind of visualize a little bit more where we want to go with it. So, um... Without... F Ooh, look at that. Leveled up. So without too much further ado, I'm going to cut again, and I'm going to eventually, I'll have enough wood. Let's see, I think that's it, yep, I'll just collect all these saplings up, we can plant all these saplings when we get there too, so um, we'll have plenty of stuff to be making our own. Ooh, Cassie's tree. Never heard of it. I think I have some stuff of it. Well, yeah, so we have, we'll have plenty of stuff to make our um, fencing with and our torches. So um, we should be good. So yeah, all right. All right, so I'll cut, run back there, and uh, yeah. So we'll also steal these torches just because. Haha. <laughs> Sorry, pig. Alright, last bite of the cake. Yum, 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 yum. In case you're wondering where the village is in relation to this mining world, um, so here is the portal that we came out of, and there is the village portal, and there is some random death that I don't even know about. So I'm just going to keep running in this direction. It's about 300 and some odd meters. So the mining dimension is actually a little bit like the nether. Um, I think one of the updates maybe may have changed it. 
or the, maybe depending on the mod pack, someone changed that config file. So it might um, vary from experience to experience, but essentially, um, the mining dimension should make every eight spaces or blocks or squares or however you want to call it meters in the um, overworld equal to one in the mining dimension so there's just like the nether it's a little bit shorter of a distance to travel um, however I believe that is a config file um, change so yeah um, we just keep running and running and it's a, it's a decent way of learning of, of traveling no mobs spawn here so that's why I use this way um, I think time passes differently when you're in uh, mining dimension 2. I know that um, th this is basically constantly night. There's a spot, a slime island over there. Yep. So, um, it's a really efficient way of traveling. It's really close. I basically just talked the whole time. Um, so, let's see here. Let's deposit some stuff. And... I'll just start laying out some fencing, some torches and stuff, and we'll um we'll start we'll go to work. So yeah, this road is gonna have to change a little bit, I think. It's gonna be one of the first things. But we'll probably start maybe at this canyon of laying down a fence. The canyon's not really a big issue. It's where the canyon ends, that's a kind of an issue. So we'll have to figure out a way to bring it around and then we have a swamp biome over here or some kind of jungle thing so maybe we'll exclude this this would be a good natural barrier and then we'll bring it around I wonder if I can eat these parson parsons oh I can and they're really good at the health alright public service announcement eat the parsons uh, and then here's a cemetery so maybe we'll just kinda come around over here and then use this as natural barrier. And huh. And then we'll have that. And then whatever that is full of, we can just kind of wall that off too. And then we'll come back in. Um Yeah. So because there's quite a bit of work to do. Um, and I just walked around this wrong side here. Let's see here. Gonna have to take a sleep break though. This tells me what time it is, isn't it? No, of course not. Oh, sheesh. I need to make a clock at some point. Alright, yeah, so we're going to cut and um, we're going to kind of make our final sets ups and um, we'll see how we're doing on time and yeah. Alright, so we have officially unloaded everything into these chests and um, we're not using the oak drawers at the moment, so that's kind of unfortunate because oak drawers are really useful, but they're kind of limited to in their own right so um yeah that's just kind of a quick update there um gotta keep get to work on the fence though so um somewhere around here we have the crafty bench crafty bench we go crafting bench crafting bench crafting bench it is and then we're gonna ah, wow that pulls whatever the nearest inventory is um so we're just gonna go ahead and make a whole bunch of these Likewise those. And then these. And this is gonna be a lot of crafting, so um Ah crap. Fences are not made like that. Fences instead are made. That's a fence gate. Fences instead are made like that. Oh boy. Um. 
Yeah, so we're gonna be here a while. Um, yeah. So, um, gonna make a whole bunch of fences and then we'll get started. Alright, we're back. Again. Um, so, got a whole bunch of fences. And absolutely no torches yet, but that's no big deal. So we want to keep the mobs out and the villagers in initially. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to include this grapevine. Or maybe not. We can just make you just like that. And then we'll kind of just bridge you off just like that. And then... Break doesn't. And then we'll just kind of come across here until we hit something. Um, and then we'll go there. Ah, she should manage to do that twice. All right. Then we'll start kind of switching our way in. And then, how are we going to do this? Alright, so, um, I finished the fence, uh, it's pretty cool, it spans the whole length of the village, and then I started placing all of these torches, it's not really aesthetic placing, they're just going all over the place, but the fence is really cool, you can see it on the journey map, you can see that we're just kinda using that canyon, and then we're going over here, here, and all the way here. So, um, it gives us a lot of space, gives us a lot of stuff, and, um, so now we just gotta cover this, basically. So, um, I think that's it for this episode. Um, I'm Backspacer57. Thanks for watching. Uh, next episode, we will be, uh, I'm embarking on uh, finishing the rest of the the rest of the lighting of the city. Including the cemetery, because that apparently doesn't have lights. And then we will be um, exploring a, 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 a more of the mod pack. Um, so we're going to be getting a little bit farther into that. And then and eventually in a couple episodes too, we're going to be um, rebuilding some buildings here. We're going to make it a little bit more uh, uh, Minecrafty, but nicer so to speak. So this might um, structure we might remove and replace it with something else. I'm thinking maybe we'll um, still maybe use the iron blocks. Maybe we won't. Um, I could cannibalize the iron and use it for something else. You know? Might be cool. Um, or yeah, maybe not that. Um, we'll also be looking for a rubber tree. So um, one of the easiest ways to get a rubber tree is rubber tree seeds. Um, if not, I found some somewhere over in um, this direction up here. So I think that it's like up in here somewhere. Um, regardless, um, follow me on Twitter, Backspacer57. Um, check out my YouTube, um, other videos, um, and um, check out my Twitch. I try and stream... Oh, crap. I try and stream every week um two days a week is he still mad don't be mad bro i love all the villagers so i try and stream every week mondays and thursdays um sometime after nine um you know things happen though lots of things so um that might always always happen um regardless um peace see you next time